Hello Minecraft fans, Dave Chaos here, and today I've got another mod spotlight for you, and we're going to be checking out the Gulliver mod, which basically, um, you can make splash potions which will shrink you or enlarge you. So let's get straight into it, I'll show you what you can do, um, uh, in creative mode, you can just simply press uh, F to go small, Ooh. let's put it in um, F5 mode, and then even smaller. <laughs> and then even smaller. Oh my god, look how small he is. <laughs> how cool is that? Right, and then to go large again, you just press R. And then you go whoop, all the way back up. And again, and then we're back to normal size. But if we keep going, you get bigger and bigger <laughs> and bigger. Oh my god. Yeah, until you're this big. Huge. So I'm going to show you how to make these potions and all the different things that you can do with this mod. Because um, there's a little bit more than just going big and small. Okay. So, oh bloody hell. Right. To make the potion, if you're in um, survival mode, you will need some glass bottles. So we'll just grab uh, one of those for now. You will also need... Let's just get rid of them. You'll also need some nether wart, you'll also need some mushrooms and uh, we'll leave them there for a minute. So, get yourself some water and place it in here. Let's let's do three, let's do three. So, oh they don't stack, okay, whatever. Right, so you get your water, what you want to do is uh, you want to add Bit another wart, so that will then bubble away and turn these into what's called um, an awkward po a potion. Um, and then with that, you can then go ahead and make uh, an embiggening. It's called embiggening potion or a downsizing potion. So we should have our three potions now. There we go. So there's our awkward potion. And what we want to do now is add some mushroom. So just one mushroom. We'll make three of these for us. Um, obviously, I don't need to use them, but uh, I'm going to make them to show you what you can do because you can um, shrink and enlarge mobs, which is why I've got some mob eggs with me because there's not usually enough around. So there we are. We've got some embiggening potions, and what I'm going to do in a moment is I will show you with uh, redstone and gunpowder. You can use them like a throwing potion, and the redstone makes it last longer. You should already know all this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of these potions, and we'll be right back. Alright, so we've made up our um, splash potions, and our enlargement and shrinking potions are done. So there's splash potion in beginning, and splash potion downsizing. So what we're going to do is show you what you can do, and I'll also show you what the sticks for in a little while. So what have we got here first? We've got... We have got downsize. So let's find some sheeps. Oh, cows, cows, they'll do. Let's fly over to the goes. Hello, little moo. So you just chuck it on him. And he shrinks. Oh, look at that. <laughs> awesome. And then, of course, what else? We can, we can do anything. Let's, let's do the sheep. Oh, little baby sheep. Look at the size of him. Let's hit this, this spider as well, Warrior. Right. Come here, little spider. Oh, I got myself! <laughs> Yikes. And now I'm stuck. <laughs> so, there we go. Let's get um, our beginning ones. Oh, crap. I'm so small. So, there's plus and minuses to these, um, pros and cons, if you like. Uh, let's get these. And get myself the right size again. There we go. Yeah, so the pros and cons. So, downsized players, um, they have a, a shorter arm reach. So let's shrink myself down about there. So I can't reach say, any further than that. I can get that, but I can't get the block underneath it. There we go. Right, so... <coughs> Excuse me. They have a shorter arm reach, 
it takes more effort to travel distances so if I was in um, survival mode he'd be using a lot more energy and of, of, of course you can see he's not traveling as far as a distance as you would if um, I was a normal size um, you also do less damage when attacking so you have to watch out for that one look at the size of that sword it's crazy um, and you also have trouble fighting water so if you get stuck in a water flow so I've, I've dug out a little example there for you you actually have issues fighting against it so let's get in there and you'll see it's pushing me right back and I'm trying to push against it but no, I can hardly move against it. Barely at all. So you, you get trapped quite easily. So let's get out of there. And then the pros to being this small. Oh, there's another there's another con actually I'll show you. Uh, pressure plates. You can't activate pressure plates when you're this big. See? Stand on it. Nothing. Buggered. So let's make myself a little bit bigger again. Back to normal size. No, that feels too big. Whoops. That's that's it there. Right. So, here you go. You've got a single block um, thing that you can't get through as normal. So if you just shrink yourself down one size, you, you can fit through. Yay! And then, let's go in that mode. And then obviously you've got half steps as well. So you've got half steps upside down like that. You can't fit through there. But if you press F again, you can shrink yourself even more. And you can fit through no problem. Yay! So that's pretty cool. That's a good little um, pro for you. Uh, what else are good when you're small? Um, you wear out tools le um, less quickly. So, you know, your diamond pickaxe will last a lot longer when you're this, this size, which is good. Um, you get more benefit from eating food. So if your, your health is low and you ate a steak, you actually get more health from it from being small. You also get more XP, which is cool. You get more XP from killing mobs. And um, you also get less damage when falling. So if you fall down a hole like this, you take less damage, which is cool. I can't really demonstrate it to you now because uh, I'm in creative mode. But that's, that's good stuff. Good stuff. Another thing about being small is... Um, Ocelots will chase you. So let's see if we can get this to work. We'll put an ocelot down and he's off. And um, shrink myself. There we go. So let's see if the ocelot will. Where's he gone? Come here. Oi. Hey you. Oh. Oh. Is he interested? I'm dead little. Come on now. You don't want to chase me. Hmm, obviously not. Come on, little mis mi Mr. Arsel. Am. I might call him Ittle. I'm the one who's little. Now, he doesn't seem to be paying much attention to me. Now, he's supposed to chase you. He seems a little bit interested in me. Hi! But he's not chasing me. Well, that's a bit of a letdown. Sorry about that, guys. He's supposed to chase you. Um, and I also nearly forgot about fishing rods. Fishing rods. Where is the fishing rod? There it is. So if we get a fishing rod and cast that out, you can actually pull yourself along like this. Let's cast it out again. I can pull myself whoop, straight over. Yay! So that's, that could come in handy for like travelling over big gaps or something like that when you're small. Whoop. So you can chuck it out there and then drag myself over. Yay! That's kind of fun. I kind of like that. Whoop. Yeah. Yeah, not as, as effective as you want it to be, but still, good bit of fun. Uh, oh, nearly, nearly. Just trying to get myself over there. <laughs> I think it would work out better if you're going downhill. Down that way. Go. Come on. Go. Hey, that's much better. There we go. <laughs> so let's have a look at what you can do when you're larger. Right then, let's enlarge a couple of mobs so you can see that you can do it with the mobs. Um, we've already shrunk a couple down. So let's make these two who are having a little dance. What the hell are them two doing? I've never seen that before. Whoa! Look at the size of them! <laughs> so now we've got a giant cow and a giant sheep. 
Wow. That is amazing. I'll show you what you can do with this stick in a little while. Um, for you creative people. It's loads of fun. Can Let's see if I can make me... This one. There we go, another giant cow. Oh my god! <laughs> right, let's join them on massive sizing. Let's get bigger, bigger, bigger. Let's get as big as we can. There we are. There. So, now I'm huge. I'm about to scale with the, the other animals. Um, so you've got um, some pros and cons again about being large. You have an, a longer arm reach, so let's see now. Oh, I'm stood up, aren't I? There we are, so you can reach quite far there. That's probably about the maximum distance there-ish. Yeah, so that's not bad. You have much longer arm reach. Um, you can travel greater distances, obviously because you're bigger now. Um, and of course, jump in. And you can step up. So you see how you've got um, a two block height there? You can actually step up that. So let's go in without having to jump. So we just go straight up there, no problem. Straight back down again. No jumping involved. So you just walk straight up it. That's the benefit of being so large. Um, and of course, when you're attacking, you can do more damage um, than you would when you were regular size or smaller. Um, the cons to being this big is uh, you need wider gaps to walk around, so you can't like just you know walk through small gaps as you would normally. It needs to be much wider, so gaps like this and stuff like that. Yeah, you can't see. I'm not quite fitting in that gap. You see that? Yeah, it's not happening. I'm too big. Um, you wear out tools much quicker than you normally would. Uh, you get less benefit from food um, because you're so large. You get less XP from killing creatures. You also suffer twice the amount of damage from falling. Um, oh, and you can't sleep in beds as well. I forgot to mention when you're small, you can get in boats and sleep in beds. Um, what else? Um, oh yeah, and of course you can't ride boats or minecarts when you're this big. So that's a bit of a shame. Oh no! Right, so let's move on to the stick. And you can see what you can do with this in a moment. Alright, so with the stick in my hand, let's spawn a couple of mobs. What have we got here? We have got a uh, sheep. So let's spawn a sheep. Get the stick, and then you can... Point at the mob with your stick and press F or R. So this is F. I'm now shrinking the sheep without using a potion. Shrink, shrink, sheep, shrink. Look how small it is going. Oh, look at it. So sweet. Oh, bloody grass. Come here. Come here. Shrink a bit more. There we go. Look how small that is. Ah. Right, and then of course you can do the same with making it larger. Ooh, attack of the giant sheep! Ah, oh, even the um, they get little squeaky voices as well, which is so cute. Whoops, wrong button. Even bigger! Oh my god, that's one big ass sheep. There we go. That's as big as he's gonna go. Wow. Whoa, he's even got a booming voice. <laughs> that is brilliant. Okay, let's... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, next, um, we're going to have a look at chickens. Chickens, because you can make these ridiculously small. Shrinking away. Even more. Oh, look at the size of him. Well, you think... Oh. Oh my god, he's, he's, oh, I thought he'd vanished. There he goes, look at him. He's like a little ant. Poor little chicken. <laughs> and for an extra bit of fun, this affects creepers as well. So let's spawn ourselves a creeper and shrink him down. Okay. Now, when the creeper is small, can we get him any smaller than that? There we go. Now, and you hit him. He will get aggravated. Whoop. He will get aggroed. But he won't blow up. You have to be a similar sort of size to him. So let's go down. There we go. And he does less damage. So let's make myself normal size again. And let's make a large creeper. This is going to be insane. Check this out. <laughs> bigger, bigger, bigger. 
Oh my god. I'm kind of scared. I think I might blow up the world. Okay. So let's punch the creeper. Oh my god. And of course, the damage is uh, m much larger. <laughs> oh man. I love it. I'm loving this. This is just so much fun. I think we should go and see what we can do with an ender dragon. Oh my god, I hope it works. Alright, Mr. Giant Sheep. See you later. Huh. Okay, where the hell are we? Uh, let's break our way out of here. Well, it's around here somewhere. Aha! Exit! Hmm. Ah, I saw a wing. There he is. Oh my god. Let's shrink an Enderman down, just for the hell of it. Shrink, Mr. Enderman. What the hell? Oh, it was him. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Let's make him big. Oh my god, is it working? I can't tell. Oh, we got a big enderman. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Let's shrink some of them down. Oh, baby enderman. Look at him. <laughs> right, where's the dragon? There he is. Let's um. Let's try and fly over to him. Come here, Mr. Dragon. Hi. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Let's make him bigger. I don't think it's working. Oh, no. Let's just... Whoops. Maybe I need to be closer to him. Ah, bloody hell. Come here. Oh. Did that work? I can't tell. He's pretty big as it is. Hmm. Kill mom. No, I don't think that's working. Can I make this Enderman big? Let's get close. Kill mom, come on, come on, come on, come on. Grow bigger. No, I don't think it's working. Aww. What a letdown. Yeah, this definitely works for the Enderman. He's one big Enderman. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Bunch of bloody nutters. This game never ceases to amaze me that it can still freak me out even though I'm in creative mode. Yeah. Right, so let's check out the boat before I forget. So we'll hop in, hey up, and move out to see a little bit or whatever this is. Get into uh, mode, and then let's shrink myself down so you can see that you can still control it. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. And then you can shrink yourself down even more, but then you start to struggle to see where the hell you're going. And then even more, and then you just cannot see a thing. <laughs> but there I am, sat there in the boat. Now if we go the other way, make myself large again. Ooh, don't crash into there. And then a little bit bigger. Lily pads, dangerous, you know. A little bit bigger. Uh, oh, bloody hell, keep hitting that key. Ah, and there you go. You break your boat if you get too large. So, yeah, it doesn't work out too well when you're larger. So let's shrink ourselves back down to normal size. Here you go. And then I'll show you what, you, what it's like in a cart. That'll do. Put a cart down, get in. And then again, you can just shrink yourself down as you would in a boat. All right, back up again. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Whoop, and then you're out. Yeah, because you don't fit in it. But with the carts, obviously, you don't break them. So, yeah, there it is. That's the mod. I hope you enjoyed. It's loads of fun. Um, it is compatible with some other mods. Um, not all of them. There is a list on the information page, which, as always, I'll link. Um, but I do believe it works with the Little Blocks mod. I've not tried, so don't quote me. Um, I think the Little Blocks mod is still on 1.2.3, so you may have to wait 
and for that to update it to try it out first but that would be totally awesome that you can shrink yourself down to the same size as the little blocks mod and don't forget the um, play soldiers mod so I'm definitely gonna be testing that out if I can get it all to work together I will do a video for you all so there you go that's it if you enjoyed don't forget to like thanks very much for watching